For the first time in my entire life, I am losing weight without actually trying. Now, I am not a thin Pilates instructor. I've never been naturally thin. I've always had to work really hard in order to lose weight. I recently got a comment on one of my videos that was about someone looking to become a Pilates instructor and was questioning that if they were not thin enough or fit enough, could they be a credible Pilates instructor? Because clients maybe wouldn't feel like they could trust them or look up to them because they didn't have a typical Pilates body look. This comment really got me thinking and it made me realize that I actually came across some of those thoughts when I was seeking out to become a Pilates instructor. Now there is a very common misconception that you need to be tall, thin, and beautiful in order to be a Pilates instructor or in order to even do Pilates. That is not the case. All you need to do in order to achieve a Pilates body is have a body and practice Pilates. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Eileen and I'm a certified Pilates instructor from Miami. And at this point, I have a very, very healthy relationship with food. No longer feel any of those thoughts that I originally felt so I figured I'm gonna be taking you a full day of what I eat in a day because I've gotten to this point where I have such a healthy relationship with food. Now I am losing weight without trying but I will say that I recently I think that it, a couple of things go into this equation one of them being that I recently got off of birth control the number one reason being how terrible birth control is for you. I read a book called Beyond the Pill and it really opened my eyes into seeing what I'm putting in my body every day. So my main priority at the moment is balancing out my hormones and I think that that is a key factor in why I am losing weight. I haven't really been changing what I've been eating. I've been eating the same way for several months if not years at this point. Now all of a sudden I'm shedding off pounds w without trying. I'm not over exercising. I think that that is one of the main reasons. So if you want a separate video on my journey getting off of birth control let me know, I would be happy to talk about it. This video is gonna be taking you through what I eat, very realistic, very simple, what I eat in a day. Now, as with anything, everybody is different. So just because this is how I eat in a day does not mean it's how you should be eating in a day. So consult with your doctor, maybe try a couple of these things out, but don't say, oh, just because this works for Eileen, it's gonna work for me. That's not how things work. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about intermittent fasting. It's something I do probably six out of the seven days of the week. I have a 16 hour period where I do not consume anything and then I have an eight hour eating window. Within those 16 hours, all I have is water or black coffee. So this morning I woke up and I had a big glass of water. I always drink water first thing in the morning and then I had a cup of black coffee, which I am still working on. I never actually finish my cup of coffee, but I don't put anything in the coffee it's just a black cup of coffee you will get used to it if you try this out I promise I used to think that I would never be able to drink black coffee and now I I don't even crave any other type of coffee unless it's like a Starbucks latte and I want to add some oat milk or something but in terms of American coffee black coffee is the way to go so I had dinner last night at around 7 p.m. which means that I'll be breaking my fast at 11 a.m. it's not that time yet so I'm gonna be heading to the post office to drop off a couple of things and then I'll head to the grocery store to buy some ingredients that I need for dinner tonight just so I'm all prepped and ready to go for my meals today. So I hope you're ready because I'm going to be taking you along with me and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more Pilates and health related content like this. I would love to have you as part of my little community here on the internet. <laughs> at the grocery store. If you are watching this video and you are looking to make a major lifestyle change in terms of losing weight, like you wanna lose a lot of weight, I am gonna recommend to you a program called E2M Fitness. 
this video is not sponsored by E2M. I wish it was. Now E2M Fitness is basically the only thing in my life that has ever worked for me in terms of losing weight. Right now I'm experiencing weight loss and that's me figuring things out on how I'm eating and balancing my hormones like I said but prior to this the only way that I've ever been able to lose weight in my life was with E2M. It is a fitness program that focuses on weight loss. It's an eight week program that recycles every two months so you can basically apply this to your lifestyle for the rest of your life. Now if you're looking for more info on E2M I can link their website below. I have a whole bunch of videos on my review on E2M, my transformation, and a little vlog series that I did um, week by week. So definitely check that out if that's what you're interested in. I always recommend everybody to try E2M because it really will change the way you view food and E2M is the way to go. I am gonna quickly run into the grocery store. It's 11 a.m. now, so by the time I get home, I'm gonna be ready to make my smoothie, which is usually the first thing that I do to break my fast. It's a very healthy antioxidant smoothie. I have it first thing. This smoothie really does help with my digestion and it makes me feel so good, but I typically try to have this smoothie as the first thing to break my fast so i'll put the recipe here for you but i'm gonna go and grab dinner for tonight so that i can go home and have my smoothie It is 2 p.m. and I am getting ready to have lunch. Now, typically, lately, what I'm having for lunch is my mom's homemade vegetable soup. Now, I'm really grateful that she makes these for me every week because it makes my lunch very quick. I just have to pop this in the microwave and it's ready to go. I'll typically have it with a slice of my homemade sourdough bread. Now, if you're looking to make homemade sourdough bread, I have a very simple process that I use and I have an entire video dedicated to that. So be sure to check that out if you want to be Susie Home Baker like I am. I'll have this soup with the bread and depending on how hungry I am, I'll have that bread in either an egg sandwich or just dip it into the soup. Today I'm not starving so I'm just going to have this slice of bread and dip it in the soup and that's going to be my lunch. Very quick, very simple. If you're looking to make this soup, I don't make it so I can't really speak on its behalf but it is delicious. It keeps me really really full and I'll put the recipe here. If I have my mom send it to me, I'll be able to put it on the screen so that you can see the the ingredients that are in it. I've been working from home today so I've been able to have all of my meals at home but if I would have had to go into the studio and go see some clients obviously my day of eating would look a little bit different. I try to meal prep as much as possible so that I don't end up eating out on the road but I'm going to be super realistic and real with you sometimes when I have a busy client day. I will sometimes just get something on the road. I'll try and have it either be sweet green or just something that has really whole and natural foods. I try to really cut out anything processed as much as possible but honestly at the end of the day it's all about balance so if there's a day that I'm craving Starbucks and I want the egg white bites and a croissant I will definitely go ahead and do that depends on the day I definitely don't ever really restrict myself my body has gotten used to eating whole and natural foods I rarely ever crave something super unhealthy anymore just because my body has adjusted to this lifestyle but yeah this is typically when I'm working from home how I eat if I want to pack maybe hard-boiled eggs or something to take into the studio as a snack with some nuts. I'll definitely do that. So yeah, I'm ready to eat my lunch. I'm going to pop these in the toaster so they get a little warm. 
Mm. Really good. Sometimes I will eat my lunch standing because if I'm sitting behind the computer, I like to stand while I eat. Today's movement, I may do Pilates, Matt Pilates from home later, or I might just go for a long walk. I'm gonna just see how I'm feeling in a bit. So it's 5.45 p.m. and I just finished working. I wanted to go for a walk. I would typically be getting back from a long walk at this point, the days that I work from home, but it's been raining all afternoon. So haven't been able to get the steps in that I wanted. It did stop raining, so I'm hoping to go out in the neighborhood and walk a little bit before I have dinner. Now, if you noticed, I grabbed a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store for dinner. And for dinners, typically what I eat is basically the same thing every single day. Minus one day out of the week where I'll go with the flow but for the most part six meals six of my dinners throughout the week are a protein a healthy protein so chicken salmon lean ground turkey steak healthy protein we've got a healthy fat I typically 99% of the time will opt in for an avocado as my healthy fat and then vegetables for the vegetables I usually go for onions and green beans this can change depending on the meal but those are my easy go-to vegetables that I can whip together with my protein and my healthy fat. Now we don't normally buy rotisserie chicken, but I knew I was gonna have a busy day working behind the computer and I wasn't gonna have time to cook a whole meal. So just for ease and convenience, it's why I grabbed it. Yesterday, for example, we made salmon with our dinner. So the rotisserie chicken is just something that's simple and easy and it is affordable. So it's a great option if you're looking for a healthy meal to try to grab more of the white meat rather than the dark meat if you do opt in for a rotisserie chicken. But that is basically how I eat in a day and that's typically what I will be having for dinners. Now I normally don't snack throughout the day but if I do I'll have cashews there's like nothing left here. Um, I'll snack on some nuts like cashews or pistachios maybe sometimes popcorn. I typically don't get that hungry for snacks throughout the day if I have my full soup and my full smoothie and all of that. Just for convenience I'm gonna list a full summary right here on everything that I do in terms of all the meals that I had today and all the extra little things that I do. I have a whole video dedicated to my week of workouts and what I do for activities so you can check that out if you're interested and I also have another video that goes into five main things that I do one of them being intermittent fasting so I kind of mentioned it in this video but all the health tips that I have for you coming from a Pilates instructor and someone who's done E2M so check that out if you're interested as well and I think that's all for me for now so if you liked this video, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I will see you next time. Bye!